Hi everyone, back to my YouTube channel, it's Chris back with my Randstroke thought of the day and a media Muppet section, we haven't done this for a while actually, which is ironic because there's more Muppets in the media than ever before, but no, this one I'm going to talk about is actually from a vile journalist in the press conference of the day when Eddie Howe was talking about the return of Sandro Tonali, you've all seen it, you've all heard it, you've probably uh, heard about it from your mates or you've seen the clips on social media, we've got it on our X feed if you want to click on the link below and check it out, but it was the Guardian's North East correspondent Louise Taylor. Now Louise has never really loved Newcastle United. So she's always had some kind of an axe to grind with Newcastle. I don't know if she's officially a Mackham, but she fucking certainly comes across as one. That's for damn sure. But the, the reason I, I, I kind of take umbrage with what Louise Taylor did in the press conference. So she had three questions she threw at Eddie Howe in the half an hour clip that I saw, the press conference that I saw, uh, where most journalists couldn't seem to figure out how it worked, the microphone, come on lads, it's 2024, Jesus Christ. But Louise Taylor asked three questions and only one of them was really about football. So the first question she launched in with, which was um, Sandra Tonali having to go back to Italy, was it 16 times to, to obviously you know, undergo part of his rehabilitation for his his, his, um, his gambling addiction, you know, and she asked if that was going to interfere with his playing time and everything else, but Jenny straight batted away and said, no, not really. Then the middle one was actually a football thing in terms of changing from the style that we play for, you know, pressing and counter-attacking football to using the ball can, can Tenali be that kind of conduit, which was a decent question, to be fair to her. And then the worst question of all, that this horrible, crass, classless twat of a journalist decided to ask Eddie Howe and you could you could see Eddie Howe's face change when this question was thrown at him she talked about Sandra Tonali's condition and basically said there's there's, there's a kind of a I think a, a thought process within the medical institute where you know is it really an addiction or is it a, a medical problem and she she threw that Eddie basically and said is he is he just an addict or does he have a medical problem and, and Eddie looked tangibly pissed off with it you could see the cool demeanor that Eddie how normally protrudes in his press conference starting to slip away and he he just stared at her and said I'm not going to go there and, he, and and then they moved on from the questions and my problem I have here with Louise Taylor is I do think she's got an agenda uh, when it comes to Newcastle United, I'm sorry I do. Um, I think a lot of the things that she's written in the past, a lot of things she's said, certainly when Newcastle were going through the turbulent years, you know, scraps on the training pitch for Andy Carroll and and uh, and Stephen Taylor, you know, she denigrated us for that. She denigrated us for a few other things as well. You know, when we were in the in the midst of the relegation period that we were in, you know, I'm sure the Saudi takeover. I haven't looked back at it, but I'm sure she's gobbed off about that as well on numerous occasions. She definitely has an axe to grind with Newcastle United. But the, the issue I have here, and something that her employer, the Guardian, needs to pull her for and needs to talk to her about, and that is how appropriate a question is or isn't in a press conference environment. And that question was wholeheartedly inappropriate. No need for it whatsoever. You know, it, it was a crass question. It was a, it was a classless question. It was a, you know, unempathetic question. You know, this lad has been suspended for 10 months because of what's happened. Now, listen, I was a, you know, a judge. I, I, I criticized Sandra. I said he let himself down, let his teammates down when it happened, you know, and, and, and I won't take that back. You know, he did let himself down and his teammates down and his manager down. But if the lad generally has a problem, that he's now sought advice for. And was saw Sandra Tonali talking, in my word, how good is his English? It's better than ours, to be fair. Um, spoke really, really well and eloquently about, you know, the advice he's given to the people and the support mechanisms that he's had in his 10 months out of the game. And to have this horrible, vile twat of a journalist you know, just throw this question at him or at Eddie Howe about him. It's completely unnecessary. It was classless and it was crass. And I think Louise Taylor, you need to look in the mirror and do a lot of fucking better love than than what you're doing now. And anyone who's going to come in the comments and call me a chauvinist or whatever, get in the fucking bin. How many times have we done these videos and called male journalists arseholes as well? It's her turn. It was unnecessary. Fucking pathetic. 
and the guardian need to pull her or the club need to have a chat with her about her conduct as well going forward because that's not the way to behave in a press conference the press conference itself was a bit now no something really people more interested in oasis versus blur than actual football tactics which is a bit stupid really i'm all for the banter but fuck me lads come on yeah, and lasses come on let's get the real fucking questions asked but yeah louise taylor you need to do better much better pathetic line of questioning get your agenda off away from newcastle do you know what be reassigned and fuck off somewhere else and don't be the north east correspondence for your newspaper that's all i've got to say about that guys let us know in the comments below what you think about louise taylor but you as disgusted as made you think it was completely classless and inappropriate and unnecessary as well this is a young lad coming back from nearly a year out of football how badly will his mental health be affected in this horrible twat asking that kind of question no need whatsoever be better everybody for fuck's sake let us know what you guys think smash a comment subscribe help get us to that nine thousand. Mark, we're close, we're, we're nearly eight and a half, I think, so only 500 left to go. Then I can get the prize out for 9K. Keep it ever more, guys. We've got loads of content coming. Newcastle's got a big week coming with two big games. Let's hope they do the business and sign some players. Have a good one. Cheers.